Hi everyone, this is Bethany B, a Crafty Girl, and this is a design team video for the Not Too Shabby Shop on Zibit. This is Alice Bean, and she's one of the limited edition um, beans from the Greeting Farm in April, and if you were fortunate enough to pick her up, that is pretty awesome. She sold out very quickly, and I think I'm going to try to give you some inspiration on what to do with her. I, in a previous video, colored her hair, and I think she looks all right, and in this video I'm going to do the skin, so um, I'm going to use E Quadruple Zero Floral White E triple zero pale fruit pink, E double zero skin white, and R20 blush. So, and this is what I usually use for skin. So, I'm going to start out with the lightest color, the E quadruple zero. I'm just going to do a layer, and on screen, it might not look like I'm putting anything down, but I promise I am. And then I'm going to go to the E triple zero. And on the skin, I'm not doing, you know, the wispy strokes because I don't want her to look like she's hairy. <laughs> and I'm just going to put it in where it would be a little darker. And I'm going to go to the E double zero. And that's going to be, you know, right about, right next to her hairline, the darkest color. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to the triple zero. I'm just doing little circle motions so it blends all nicely together. And then the quadruple zero. And then while that is drying a little bit, I'm going to do the blush. And um, I'm going to kind of do the wispy strokes over here for her blush. and kind of come in from the side of her face. And then I'm going to take that E uh, quadruple zero again. And with my little circular motions, just blend that out. Just like if you were putting on makeup yourself, I guess. Just kind of blend those wispy edges out. And there's, there's her little face and uh, right now it looks a little dark but um, as it dries it'll lighten up a little bit. I'm gonna do her little arms and um, I'm pretty sure she has white tights on. Sorry I'm looking it up. I'm pretty sure she has white tights on. Yes. She does, so I will not color her legs. I'm going to go to the triple zero. For the arms, it's not necessarily so important since they're so little to do all three colors, but I think this time I will. Oops, wrong end. And then I think I'll just go back to the quadruple zero. And there she is. So 
I think I have enough time to go up and do that bow. As you can see, she's starting to dry in the middle and then she'll dry out. If something happens and you still have this like weird blend line, you can always go back in with your lightest color and, and try to blend out and fix that a little bit. Uh, I can go on ahead and do her um, bow. I'm going to do some blue. Um, B triple zero, B double zero, and B O oh, two looks like is what we're going to use. I need to get B O one. If you're wondering about these black Copics I've been using, they're the special edition. They have the super brush tip on one end and uh, the fine point on the other there in a set. You can't buy them singly. Um, they're a special edition set. So anyway, I'm going to start with my lightest color, the B000. I'm going to start from the inside and go to the outside just because that's what I do. <laughs> and then I'm going to go to the double zero. And kind of do those kind of wispier strokes, I guess. And then, okay, so I, if, if I had the blue, the B01, I would use that. But I have the B02, so I'm going to be pretty careful with how dark I get. This isn't so bad. I kind of like that. Okay. And then I'm going to go back in with the double zero. kind of do some circles because I don't necessarily want a whole lot of texture going on. And then with the triple zero. Very pretty. Okay, and then I'm going to do the other side the same way. And as you can see, it's kind of bleeding out here, but I'm, I'm most likely going to fussy cut this image out when I use her, so not too terribly worried. And I'm just kind of doing a circle motion to blend that all together. So there's her little bow. So cute. And then I am going to do her dress. It's not going to take a whole long, long time. And because all the areas are so small, I think I can get away with doing them all um, at the same time. Triple zero, double zero, and quite honestly, with all that big hair, I don't even know if <laughs> any light would be shining on that dress. She must be from Texas, huh? With some big hair. And 
And again, since her dress is so tiny, you might not even need all three colors. And then all that's left is her shoes and her apron, and her apron is white, her tights are white. Do you think I can do it in five minutes? Well, four minutes? We'll see. So to do white, you need your BG, I have triple zero, you might want even quadruple zero, and you just kind of go in wherever there would be shadow, and I don't even know if you can see it on screen, but you just kind of go in and do... A little bit of shadow and then you take your colorless blender and you just kind of blend out all of the edges and then it just makes things look more white which is kind of awesome I mean you know after it dries you have to let it dry a little bit it's kind of wet right now but that's kind of one of the um, I love my colorless blender for that um, to do white and then her shoes are black so I'm just gonna take my cool gray 10 and since her shoes are just so tiny anyway I'm just gonna color them black the oh I'm so sad that I missed the farmers market where they had like the little um, like the little red riding hood and the little Dorothy like I want those so bad <laughs> I really do. That's like really cute. All right, and now she's done. So here's how she turned out. She's still a little wet in some areas, um, but I think she turned out um, really cute. So yeah, I hope you liked this uh, coloring process. And don't forget to go over to Jamie's shop at Not Too Shabby on Zibit. There'll be a linky down in the description. Uh, Alice Bean is not available currently, but um, she has lots of other very cute stamps to go look at. So um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!